Okay, so we are now ready to place the two plants that we have created to make some kind of planting extravaganza in purple and lime green. So you'll see I've created two layers. If you can't remember how to create a layer, you right click in that white space and go to new. That will create a new layer. It's a design layer, which is the second tab on the navigation palette. So I have created planting plan and planting bed. I want planting plan to be on the top, so I'm going to hover over the number two and just drag it there so that is now on top I'm now going to go to the planting bed layer and I'm going to draw a rectangle so I press 4 for the shortcut key the rectangle there and I will just draw one let's see 5 by 3 ish meters now if I go back to the planting plant layer um, I'm going to delete these two plants that I've got here they are still stored in the document if you know anything about the resource browser they're still stored there uh, so I'm deleting them. I'm now going to go to the site planning button on the tool sets and the first one of those which is plant. When you press that you'll get several options at the top here which are the different modes for placing plant but the first thing you need to do is go to plant def or plant definition. Click the little drop down box and select current document which should be by default selected. You will then see the plants that you've got in your current document. So they, the plants that you'll get in your current document are ones that you've created but also if you've used any of these from the Vectorworks basic tool sets or any of the more advanced um, ones here, species specific or whatever, um, they will also appear in your current document. So I am going to select a plant that I want to use which is salvia. This is Vectorworks 2016 so I just click it and it is selected. Other versions of Vectorworks, this will look slightly different, this whole box. You'll get more options down here, it'll look more complicated. You'll also get a select box at the bottom which you'll need to click. So the first um, plant placement mode just close that. It's a single plant placement, so that is just going to put one plant down. Now the first thing you will notice when I'm trying to place my plant is it's automatically trying to snap. So it's much easier when you're placing plants to turn off all your snapping. So now I can just go through and go click and click, 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 put some in. The second plant placement mode allows you to manually position plants. So if I select that and that shall zoom in a bit more. So I will go one, two, three. So you'll see I'm kind of choosing where they go. I could leave bigger gaps if I want to. When I'm done, I double click and it's created a plant cloud. This is because we chose mass plants. If I go to the object info panel here, uh, just there, mass plants. If I turn that off, you'll see that it now goes back to circles. So generally I would keep mass plants on. So another of the plant placement modes is just to do a straight line. For this I'll pick my alcamilla and let's say I want to do some edging in the alcamilla. So all I'm going to do is click once, pull my mouse across, it's automatically drawing a line. And then I'll double click to finish. And you'll see that that spacing is uniform and that spacing is. So from the centre of this plant to the centre of this plant is 400 mil. I think that's, oh no, I think we set it at 450 and the size of the plant was 500. Um, the next one, if I just go to here, I'll select my salvia. So this allows you to do large areas of planting and assuming that it's almost it's in a sort of offset grid formation. So you're going to draw a, a polygon essentially. So by clicking, a bit like using the polyline tool, you're just going to draw a shape and then when you double click, then that will automatically fill in with plants at the density that you've required. The final one is just a, a variation of that, basically. I'm not really sure what the difference is between them, because they both pretty much do the same thing. Um, so for the most part, um, I would say these first two are the ones you'll want to use. To delete plants, or delete a group of plants, click it to select it and press delete. So click to select, press delete. So just go through that again, you're going to your plant tool, you're going to click on the plant mode, you're going to the drop down, you're going to select the plant you want, and then it's just a place to click, 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 and double click to finish, and that's it, and you'll have your plant, group of plants there. So I will come back to labels at another point.